What's up, you two? Can't show me your favorite Igwe. Every 24 is D-Day. I had a thought. I just had a thought. I was reading the 48 Laws of Power, and they were talking about something, you know, very profound in the political atmosphere. When we talk about reparations, when we're talking about Black Lives Matter, and we're talking about progression. <clears throat> what is progress for the disenfranchised black community in the North Americas? Progress is seeing or receiving what is deserved of what people died for unjustly, what people got their names stolen for, you know. If you've seen a few of my videos, you know I'm talking about reparations. And if you are one of the people that purchased the Black Reparations Matters t-shirt, I know that you're on the right page. I know you know what is the root of uh, black lives beginning to matter. What is the root? The root is payback. Payback for what you did. Payback. True justice. Because justice is something that you can take before a court and hopefully these people see it your way. Or the judge sees it your way. But revenge is you not depending upon a court. You're not depending upon a judge or a jury you have your own court is that what this will come down to because people are going to get tired of talking about justice they will x out justice and focus on revenge they will focus on revenge and Donald Trump I know you listen to my show you compared yourself to Abraham Lincoln on paper it said that Abraham Lincoln signed bills to emancipate um, or stop slavery He signed bills to slap slavery on record. You, sir, could be greater than Abraham Lincoln by signing those same bills to initiate a reparation uh, process for the disenfranchised black Americans in North America. But it was interesting. I saw this piece in this book, um, and they were talking about the Virgin Queen. The Virgin Queen. What is a Virgin Queen? And when I read this, I thought, unfortunately, I thought about um, brother of former president Barack Obama who I truly believe would, was going to pass something dealing with reparations or at least put forth an effort he did not now people tell me all day that the presidential seat is a a puppet seat that they have people behind the scenes telling them what to do what to say if that's the case Then they used uh, Mr. Obama as a virgin queen, selling hope, but no satisfaction. Absolutely no satisfaction. Giving Donald Trump the opportunity. 
to be a bigger name in history than Abraham Lincoln. And if he does that, if he does that after Obama, man, because I mean, he has, he didn't run against Obama because a lot of people say Obama was just a, a fantastic orator as far as debates. I don't think he was going to be able to hang. So he was wise to not run against Obama and wait those eight years. But having this platform, if we, he were to pass reparations after a black president, that would be the best investment for his Trump brand. I would say that. I would say that.